Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are still having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's use something that most of us probably have in our homes just lying around and let's turn it into a useful craft. Stay tuned. <music> So have you ever had an occasion where you needed a small gift bag really quick and you didn't have one? Maybe you wanted to give a gift card and you didn't want to just hand it to the person. Or maybe you had some cash and you didn't want to just hand it. Or some little treats and you wanted something cute to put them in. Well, today we are going to make the sweetest little gift bag. And we are going to make it using a plain old sheet of copier paper. Aren't these bags so stinking cute? And y'all know I'm on a butterfly kick right now. So I have butterflies on these bags and I think that they are just spectacular. And like I said, this is made using one sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch copier paper. Then we're going to dress it up just a little bit and turn out these wonderful bags on the cheap. You heard me on the cheap. So let me show you exactly what I am going to be using to decorate. I am constantly on the hunt for things that might help you guys in your crafting, but won't break the bank. And these little sticker books accomplish that goal. These books, and you're going to see that I've cut out quite a bit from these books, but they are full of delightful butterfly stickers. These are the larger ones and these are the butterfly minis. And the reason why I like these is because we've been doing a lot of crafting lately with butterflies. And if you don't want to print butterflies using your ink, you can go out and get these little books. But y'all know what the beauty of these books are? I went to Amazon to find these and I don't know if they're on Amazon outside of the US, but Amazon US has these little books and they have a variety of different things. There are roses, there are birds, a variety of these little books for $1.99. And if you have Prime, Amazon Prime, free shipping. So you can get a whole book of beautiful butterfly stickers for $1.99. And I am going to leave the link in the description box. So if you guys want to go out there and grab some of these, and I'm not sure how many they have. So if you're interested in getting some butterfly stickers, I wouldn't wait on these because this is a fantastic deal. And y'all are going to see these pop up and additional crafting that I'll be doing. So I wanted to share this awesome find with you guys. Now let's make our bag. So I have my paper positioned on the 11 inch side and we're going to score this at three and a half, at five, at eight and a half, and at 10. Then let's rotate it to the eight and a half inch side and we're going to score at one and a half. So our bag will actually have a depth of one and a half. So let's fold and burnish all of our scores. All right, so once we have our scores folded and burnished, we're going to have a narrow strip here. We simply need to remove that corner piece. So I will angle in and I'll cut this out. And then for each one of my tabs at the bottom, I am going to angle on both sides of that score mark to create my bottom tab so that I can have a way of putting this bag together. So when you're done, your bag is going to look like this. Now we're not going to put it together just yet because we need to decorate just a little bit. So I am going to share with you guys what I used on these. I use these border strips 
by Anna Griffin. And they are just spectacular and add so much charm and character to your projects. But I know that not everyone has those border strips, so we are going to work with an alternative. So what I did was I cut out two strips of a decorative paper at two inches by 12 inches. And then, I don't know how many of you guys remember these scissors from back in the day, but I have a whole bunch of these scissors. And all I did was I took my scissors and whichever ones you want to use, and I cut out to create a decorative edge so that I, when I lay it down, I'm going to have just a little bit of a decorative edge. And that is what I'm doing to get my top as well as my bottom. So it's not necessary that you have what I'm demoing in this video with the Anna Griffin um, borders. You can use what you have to get the look. So go through your stash, pull out some papers that you like, cut out some two by 12 strips. And then if you want to do a decorative finish on the edge, you can do that. And then we're going to lay these down and go ahead and finish making a cute little project. So I am going to use my tape runner. I don't want to put glue on this. I'm going to try not to use too much glue on this project because it is plain old copier paper, which does not have a whole lot of weight to it. So then I'm going to take this and just put it down. I could skip putting it down where the glue flap is, but I'm not. I'm just going to lay the whole thing down. And then I have another piece, which is two by 12, that I have folded over because I want to have a little bit of that going on the inside of the bag. So I am going to take my tape once again, and this particular paper was purchased at Hobby Lobby. I am just going to get this positioned on here. So then I am just going to stick this down on my paper. I'll use my bone folder to get everything nice and stuck. And now I can flip this piece over and that's going to give me a nice little finish on the inside of my bag. And then I'll use my finger blade to just trim off the excess. So now what I'll do is I'm going to just reinforce my scores again because I've added a little bit of extra paper and I want to make sure that it's still nice and crisp. And now you can see we have a really pretty little bag, but we're not finished with it. I have my butterflies that I have cut out and I'm going to decide where I want to place them. One thing that I did want to show you guys though is when you actually start working with the butterflies, they have a very wide white border around them. I just went around mine and reduced that white border a little bit because I didn't mind having the white border. I just didn't want so much. So now all I have to do is decide which is the front of my bag and which is the back. And that is pretty easy to figure out because Wherever the glue flap is, the next wide panel over from that, that's the front of your bag. So now I can take my pretty little butterflies and just put a couple of them down. And I like the way that that looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to remove the sticker backing to this because I want these to sit up. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and place that right there. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. So I am just going to fold it. And put my butterfly right there. So now on our bag, we have got this really fun and inexpensive way to make our bag. And the truth be told guys, this is a very, like I said, it's on the cheap. This is a very inexpensive project to make. And it's a very quick way to get a beautiful bag in no time at all. So I am going to flip this over 
I am not going to use glue to put this part of my bag together because this tape will hold it. And so I am just going to lay down some tape and then I'll just match it up top to top. Now I'll just go in on the inside with my bone folder and then now you can see we have a beautiful flat fold bag but I am not going to add any handles to this bag so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pull in my sides add just a little glue and I'll bring the back piece up first and then I'll place glue on this front piece. And now I'm gonna need some more glue pretty soon in my bottle. And then I'll just get that stuck down. And then we can take our bag and get it shaped and squared. And then I'll use my bone folder to go on the inside and get that stuck down. And you can see what an absolutely wonderful bag we have. Now, who doesn't like butterflies? I have been working with them so much lately because I absolutely love the look of butterflies, dragonflies, bees, and birds. I love working with them, and I think that they instantly elevate our projects. So now we can take this, and if you want to go ahead and get your bag, look, just pinch it in just like that and squeeze. And then take your fingers and go down the side as far as you want. And then just start squeezing. And just keep going. Because you can then take this bag and flatten it out just like this. So now you have beautiful packaging that you can make as a gift or you can make it to sell. You could actually package these in sets of three or four and they would make an awesome, awesome gift. So now what I'm going to do is you can take your sentiment and position it right here and I'm using a pre-printed sentiment by Anna Griffin, but you can go out to the internet and find all types of wonderful sentiments and just print them out and then either cut them out or punch them out to give you something cute to lay down on your project. Like I said, what I'm demoing in the video is really designed to give you guys some ideas and then you can look for other alternatives to being able to place these down on your project. So let's say you didn't want to place this here. So I have opened the bag so that we can now look at another way that we can use these wonderful sentiments. If you didn't want to take your sentiment and place it down here, you could actually paper clip it as the closure for your bag. Now imagine these being gifted or imagine something as sweet as this gracing a bridal table or a luncheon that you might be hosting. These little bags are perfect and they start out as a piece of copier paper. These little bags are so super perfect. They start out as a simple piece of copier paper. And then in the case of this one, we're taking some of our own paper and cutting it down to create borders to break up all of that white space. And then we're going to fill that white canvas with some decorative embellishments. And then how you choose to top it off with your sentiment is completely up to you but you can see that we've got these different looks. And guys, these bags are just super, super cute. And you know what else? If you wanted a bigger bag, you could actually join two pieces of copier paper together to get yourself a larger bag. So I hope I have inspired some creativity on ways that we can take our copier paper and pull it into our crafting and use it to create something oh so useful. So y'all, have a great rest of the day. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.